Hello, welcome for, from Wisconsin. This is Debbie from Nintebs, and I'm buried in hats. So <laughs> I'm not gonna take time to show them all to you, but I just wanted to see. Uh, I'll just toss these aside, but I make um, straight ones. These are all double, double knit, um, both sides. Here's one with a cuff. Here's a straight on one. Um, here's a little beanie type. Another double, double, double. And here's the scarf that goes with this hat. That was fun making that one. Um, a lot of these can be folded up. They can be left um, hanging, like more like a slouchy. I mean, they're all different sizes. Depends on the yarn I use, the color of the same kind of yarn, what size it makes. Here I tried one with a pom pom. My girls, my grand girls, wanted pom pom, so I just thought I'd give that a try. The dark blue of the shiny and soft seems to knit the best. All of these hats will get washed and um, blocked because the unevenness of the tension, uh, depending if there's a knot in the yarn, um, make, that'll all disappear when I wash them. This one's just a rolled brim. Black's probably gonna be the color of choice by um, man, um, this one's Larry's claimed already. He likes this one. And I got a couple of Green Bay Packers. Go pack. <laughs> one's more, more Cornish looking than the cheese, but kids don't care. And they're reversible. Um, baby blue can be rolled up too. Here's a fun one. I ran, had just a little bit of this yarn, so I made it go. I added a different color to make it go big enough for a um, ch child or small-headed adult. And this one was the Fair Isle yarn from Hobby Lobby Sale. I love how it automatically knit a pattern like I spent a lot of time, and it's reversible so the Depending on how you turn it, you get a different pattern showing, which is pretty neat. I got a bunch of this yarn, um, and I might make more hats, although this is not good for homeless because it does have some wool in. I'd hate to have it um, shrink. And the one I'm wearing, my husband calls it the French Voyageur hat because it's a stocking, stocking type hat. Um, this is, uh, <laughs> now I'm really going to have a bad hair day. Um, this is um, Unforgettable Waves, and I did this on the knitting machine, and it looks real uneven right now because of the thick and thin when I knit it on the machine. But I did end up finally getting a whole case from Dollar Tree, so 24 skeins of yarn for a dollar each, and... It's very pretty. I don't recommend um, frogging it. <laughs> you, it can be done. Um, but this is uh, called Lake House, the color. Yeah, 119 yards. Color Lake House, yep. Yeah. So, um, for medium, but it goes down to a one and it goes up to a five. It's like, it's like hand spun. And very pretty. Um, I do have a pattern for a granny square jacket. I think will will be what I'll make. So I got a whole case of that. So there's the hats, and I'm still working every day. I try to make two, three of them. I found a church, a local church that they actually go out onto the street ministering to the homeless and providing them with hats, mittens, whatever, um, 
things that they might need. So I'm glad I found a local place. I don't have to pay shipping. And um, that I'm, I love street ministry. Can't do it as well as I used to. So on with um, other acquisitions. It's been a long time, I know, with my videos because I was sick with very bad headaches. And then I came, we went on vacation and I got strep throat. A uh, bad case of strep throat. It's still, it's still swollen. I'm on day five of penicillin and it was up into my ear. My whole face was swollen on this side and it's still sore when I swallow. I don't know when I'm going to feel good again. So, uh, <laughs> my, my Michael Jackson glove, but with the stress of the strep, my, uh, hand, the dishydratic eczema, they call it broke out. So I got to keep it, the medicine on there. So, but I still want to be able to crochet. So that's why the white glove, the white, you're getting the white glove treatment today. Um, I don't know if I showed the unicorn cat that I tested for, um, Marie, um, that cute little, cute little gal. Anyway, I tested that for her and well, this is a finished object, not an acquisition. My smart snarky, snarky, the snowman. That was uh, a free pattern. She had four of them, an angel, a reindeer, a penguin, and the snowman. Well, I collect snowmen, so I had to make him. Um, I joined Annie's Caring Club. Uh, Annie's, uh, yeah, Caring Club. Caring Crochet Club. So in it, I get got two... Two skeins of yarn. This is Premier Everyday Anti-Pilling. Very, very, very soft. This is 180 yards, 100% anti-pilling acrylic, medium weight four. Um, color is Lagoon. And also came the skein of Premier Everyday Anti-Pilling. Color. It's in a different place. Uh, peacock. That does look like peacock. So, as you can see, I've already started with it. You get the book. This is chemo caps. So, there's two different crochet patterns. This is the one I made. This one's got short rows. Um, I started it and I've never done short rows crocheting so it was interesting. I took it out because I, I'm i gonna d use a different size hook. So anyway you get the information of where to send um, these. It's for knots of love. So I went to the knotsoflove.org website and tried to find a local chapter so they could um, hand them off instead of shipping them somewhere um, until they get monetized. Shipping comes out of my social security check, so I'm a little tight. <laughs> anyway, I e emailed a lady who was in a central Wisconsin office. She never emailed back, so... I guess I'm gonna to have to cut contact locks of love. But here's the hat I made, and it is so, so nice and soft. It was an easy pattern. I don't know if you can see that. Kind of a V, V stitch, they connect to each other. And then the top is just, you know, this normal start of a top of a crocheted hat. But it's very nice and soft, so. Um, I'm anxious to get this month's, see what they, I can crochet up. I really am enjoying donating my time. Sorry about the bouncy camera. It's right next to my chair and when I rock, when I move, it bounces the camera. Also, oh, and it came, it had a special deal. I got um, the first month 
at a discount and it came with this um, crochet stitch guide this nice little plastic bag you know it tells you how, what the different size yarns what size hooks to be using and it came with three crochet hooks in the size for the patterns in the book for my first month. So, so the first month was a bargain. Um, but it gives all kind of inside here is just how to crochet stitches and stuff. It's a nice little thing. And I did a premier yarn when they had five, 10 for, 10 for 10 sale. So I got two balls of white, snow white of the Everyday Anti-Pilling. This is really a nice yarn. Um, saving that for, don't know what, that probably be more chemo hats, I suppose, because I don't want to n use this because it's more expensive than the um, DBYN yarn I've been using for the hats. And then a, um, the color Baby Yellow and Golden Heather. So. And then these were, um, I must be missed. Oh, here's the other skein. A baby, um, everyday baby. And the color green. <laughs> I think that's green. <laughs> so I would call that pea green. Yeah. But all these are the, um, oh, I can't think of the word. Hot pink, you know, neon, neon colors. So I'm thinking of making a star um, blanket out of these. Um, not sure yet, but I just, I got those uh, with the premier sale they had. And I think, nope, one more, one more acquisition. It's a light box. I got an um, Amazon.com and it's got different colored backgrounds so I um, put little items in here to take a nice picture but it's got two USB plugs so there's a front and a back light and it snaps down it down snaps to you know take it with you somewhere worked pretty good I took a picture of my snowman with it this is only ten dollars on Amazon um, I've seen them as high as $39.95 um, they might be a little bit bigger but this is a good start for a light box. I want to get better at my photography. And I will have some more, I have more acquisitions coming today. Um, I fell in love with the um, circular knitting machine that I'm making the hats on. So I got a smaller size, a 22 needle. It's coming today. It's not the Addy. It's not the Addy Professional, which has 22 needles. It's the Central. And everybody gave it good ratings for being in the toy category. Um, so I thought for the $30, I can give it a try versus spending $130 on um, the other one. I want to make scarves. They some adorable scarves you can make with a 22 needle. And you can make soft toys that aren't stuff for um, children. You can do socks on it. Um, booties so give that a try so may, my, maybe my next um, video will have that on it well I'm getting close to my 15 minutes so I'm gonna have to um, say goodbye I just wanted to check in let you know I am alive very sad I'm not at stitches Midwest today because of my strep throat so um, have fun summer and everybody miss you guys um, and they'll be posting videos, I'm sure, from Stitches Midwest is going on all weekend. All right, have a great day, and if you would, pray for my throat. Bye-bye.